Mike Pence. I really think you guys have to give it up to Mike Pence because yesterday night during the vice presidential debate, he really came through for the Republican Party, for conservatism, and for Donald Trump. I know that the mainstream media is leveling this baseless accusation that Pence did not spend enough time defending Trump. And here's, a, here's the deal. Mike Pence was simply refusing to take the bait. Now I know that, if I may be honest, one of the weaknesses of Donald Trump's debating tactics or strategies is that he always feels compelled to defend against every accusation. And in reality, you don't have to do that. In fact, by not defending against every accusation, you show and project strength. And what Mike Pence did was to project strength and was to uh, project poise and calm under pressure. I mean, he was being leveled with so much pressure, with uh, so much uh, dirty tactics from uh, Tim Kaine. I mean, Tim Kaine, what an awful, awful candidate. You know, I, when I came to this uh, presidential, vice presidential debate yesterday, I really didn't know too much about either candidate. And then when I began listening in to the debate, it became very clear. Tim Kaine, what a jerk. I want to use another term. I think, I think actually this other term that I'm thinking in my head, but I'm not saying it, saying it out loud verbally. Uh, I think it really reflects how most Americans feel. I mean, Tim Kaine spent all of his time, or I would say a majority of his time, just attacking and attacking, you know, making baseless accusations. He, you, you guys recall that one time when he said that, uh, something to the effect that Donald Trump has a Mount Rushmore of dictators that he worships and idolizes, beginning with Vladimir Putin and uh, Kim Jong-un. I mean, Kim Jong-un, right there, right there when he made that Mount Rushmore comment about dictators, that right there, if it weren't for all these other lies and racist accusations, right there, the Mount Rushmore accusation. I mean, that was an accusation that literally Tim Kaine just pulled out of his butt and brought over into the vice presidential debate. I really think that he impugned the reputation and the integrity of that debate. I mean, it's one thing, you know, when you're in politics that you're obviously going to be very heated and you're obviously going to deliver an impassioned speech and you're going to deliver an impassioned attack against the other party, the other candidate, but you're going to attack the issues. You're going to attack why their perspective is wrong or why their approach is wrong and why your approach is better. No, we did not get that though. See, our election has just devolved into playground tactics, you know, uh, uh, very juvenile tactics, a lot of name calling, a lot of wild accusations. And I really felt that Tim Kaine actually did a big service, a big league service to Donald Trump because he came across as such a jerk and he came across with, with this haughty arrogance, this elitist arrogance that, oh, I'm so better than you. And he had that, he had that smug smile that, um, you know that pharma bro that everybody um, is talking about, uh, Martin Shkreli or something like that? I forget his name, but you, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. The, they call him, the media calls him the pharma bro. He's this uh, young CEO of a pharmaceutical company that jacked up the price of a particular drug and everybody in the world hates this guy. Well, that's the same smug arrogance that I got, that same vibe that, that I got from Tim Kaine. And I was uh, texting a, a bunch of people in, in my social network uh, while watching the debate, and they felt the same exact way. Now, I'm not trying to put opinions into people's heads, but that is my opinion. That is the opinion of uh, my colleagues, my friends. And I'm pretty sure when, I, when you watched uh, the CNN's coverage, when you watched the uh, liberal media's coverage, and you, uh, when the, the media outlets went out and did an informal polling 
of undecided voters, a lot of voters, a lot of those undecided voters said that Tim Kaine was way too aggressive. He, he, was, he was just you know, too much of a bulldog. And that is exactly the type of attitude and the, the image that Hillary Clinton actually does not need because it completely contradicts what she has been saying because she has been accusing uh, the Donald Trump movement, the Republican Party of arrogance. And then you come with this guy, Tim Kaine. No wonder why Hillary Clinton wanted Tim Kaine to, to, to be her running mate because he fits the bill so perfectly. And I mean, this guy is completely out of touch with reality. And when I say that, I mean, what Catholic supports abortion? You now, what Catholic, what kind of Christian, what kind of Catholic supports abortion? And what kind of Catholic, what kind of Christian supports making baseless lies and then using scripture out of context to attack another person? I mean, this guy is completely out of touch with the rest of America and with the rest of the, the Christian America. I mean, this guy is, I don't, I don't have words. I, I, I think right now we're in a race, an informal race between who hates who more. I mean, people hate Hillary Clinton. That's obvious. I mean, the people that don't like her, they hate her. But my goodness, Tim Kaine, I, this was the first time I've heard him speak at length. This guy is a disgusting politician. I mean, he really impugns the integrity of politicians. And since most politicians have no integrity, that's saying a lot. This guy is an awful, awful character. And it speaks volumes. See, look, Hillary Clinton picked this man out of all the people, out of all the politicians that, that she looked over, she picked Tim Kaine. This jerk, this arrogant, elitist politician that only cares about himself, does not care at all about the American people. See, you got to look at, you know, not just the rhetoric. What do the actual actions of a person say about themselves? Look at Donald Trump. Donald Trump picked Mike Pence. He picked him. At first, I didn't know why he picked Mike Pence because a lot of people really didn't know much about Mike Pence. Well, now we understand his, his uh, composure, his eloquence, the way that he articulates his positions without taking the bait. That's why Donald Trump picked Mike Pence. And that speaks to the character of Donald Trump. Hillary Clinton. On the other hand, picked Tim Kaine. It really speaks to her character and what she values in a person. The question is, do you also value the same thing?